Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. You use reports to further calculate and then display the results from a query. You can also use them to calculate statistical results on tables or queries for summary reports. They're simply a more concise and certainly more printer-friendly way of presenting the data that you have calculated in your queries to anyone who needs to view this information. They use fields like forms do, and the report design view shares much in common with the form design view. However, reports typically have a query as their data source versus a table. Now a simple way to create a basic report is to use the report wizard. You can start the report wizard by clicking the create tab in the ribbon and then clicking the report wizard button in the reports group. That will then launch the report wizard. Now once the report wizard is launched, it's going to lead you through a step-by-step -step program that will prompt you to respond to each question that it poses on the screen. So you simply enter your answers and make your desired selections in each screen. And then you just click the next button to proceed to the next screen. So on the first screen you select your table or your query and you add your fields from the available fields list to the selected fields. Click next once you're done there. It asks how you want to view your data. You could sort it by any of the fields available here. Click Next. It asks if we would like to add any grouping levels. If you do, you can select the field by which you would like to group. Click the right arrow to move it over. If you want to set grouping options, you can actually click the Grouping Options button and select Grouping Intervals, like the first letter in the field, second letter in the field. So here we have just normal, the full field. And then I would click Next. You can sort your report using the drop-down to select a field by which to sort. If you have summary options you'd like to display, you can click that button. And choose whether you'd like a detail and summary report or a summary only. You can also calculate the percent of total for sums if you'd like. So you'd make your options, click OK, and once you're done in that screen you could click Next. Here you would just choose a layout and a landscape or portrait page orientation. You can also adjust the field width so that all the fields fit on a page by making sure that checkbox is selected. And then you would click Next, pick a style, Next, give your report a title, and then you can preview it. So when you're done answering all the questions on each screen in the wizard, you would just click the Finish button to create your basic report. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free.